Hello, this is Don with Hummingbird Canada. In this video, we're going to do a quick overview of the Hummingbird platform. When you first log into Hummingbird, you'll start out on the map screen. You can toggle between the map screen and the analytics screen with these buttons. Further down, you have the option to bring up a live chat box. Though if you're located in Canada, you might get faster response times by contacting us at the phone number or email address shown at the beginning and end of this video. In the bottom left corner, we have the Logout button. At the top of this white bar, we have the Farm Selector, the Season Selector, and the Crop Selector. This allows you to quickly bring up all the fields with a certain crop. Underneath that, we have the Search bar, which allows you to pull up fields by typing in the name. Each cell in the fields list contains an outline of the field's boundaries, the field name, the crop, the acreage, and this number represents the average NDVI for the whole field from the last usable survey. This icon indicates that zones have been mapped out in the field, but we're going to cover zones in another video. Down here at the bottom, we also have the Add Crops and Add Fields buttons, and again, we're going to cover those features in another video. Once you've chosen a field that you want to look at more closely, you can select it by clicking on the list over here on the left, or by zooming in and clicking on it from the map screen. This will bring up the last usable survey from the selected season. You can use this ribbon along the top to scroll through surveys and find the date you're looking for. You'll notice that there's three types of surveys, sun, clouds, and a mix of sun and clouds. Sun indicates that this was a good clear survey. Clouds indicate that this image was obscured by clouds and there was nothing usable. And the mix of sun and clouds indicate that there was some cloud cover, but enough of the field was visible to get usable information. Then looking down at the bottom of the screen, you can select different imagery types. There's also crop variability, and photographic imagery. And we're going to cover these imagery types in another video. Under the imagery selector, there's a graph that represents the range of NDVI values for this field. Then in the center of the screen, we have the field information. You can enter or edit your crops here, as well as select the season for this crop, edit the planting date and harvest date, as well as add additional crops. You also have the Applications tab, which allows you to make variable rate application plans, and we're going to cover that in another video. Likewise, the Settings feature allows you to edit the field, draw zones, or download this map file, and again, we're going to cover that in another video. If you need more space on the screen, you can also hide this bottom and sidebar by clicking these arrows here. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at the phone number or email address shown on your screen.